Move Moon back into the... Yes. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Desperate Measures. Where is Moon's shit ass going? Trying to what? put him into the channel, but my... I can't get oh, him Oh, yeah, I don't know why. It keeps taking me out. It keeps saying, it like, kicks AFK you from the Discord channel? Oh. There you go. Yeah, it says, like, it's you've been AFK for X amount of time. Like, we're moving oh, into weird. That's weird. Sorry. It's fine. Cool. All right, well, um, here you are. Keep going. We're going to keep poking, too. Don't you're gonna, uh, you're gonna scoot and poke? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, the rock gets tossed to the end of the hallway. Poke, poke, poke. Poke. We're poking uh, Rock, poke. Rock gets chucked. Woo! Poke. 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 And you come to an intersection. <clears throat> My I... god, which way are you gonna go? He wouldn't expect us to keep going straight. <laughs> The Minotaur. We just keep going straight. We go down. Let's yeah. do it. Bonk. I agree. Poke, 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 poke. Bonk. Big poke here, because it looks like some hunt shit. Poke, poke, poke. It's fine. Okay, I look at the walls. Anything weird on the walls? Give me a perception check. Uh, my perception is No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Totally normal. Just like all the other walls that you've seen. Okay. Bonk. And I'm peek over. Do I, I see some shit? Oh yeah, you see bones, bones, and some dried blood, and more bones. Anywhere. Uh, I mean, I look and I poke. Do I see any? Um, hey, somebody look. You see any gold in those bones or anything cool? Stop stepping forward. There's just bones. As far as there's I'm no going. clothes, there's no coins. It's just bones and blood. Well, let's make sure he's not here, and then we got another place north. And then if not, I think it's in the magic, in that place where the coins are at. Can I check for sliding, shifting walls or rooms? Yeah. Uh, but there are none. But you search, and you're confident. Okay. And then up here... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. thought we were going to go back. No? Oh. Okay, sorry. Where are you I'm going? I'm just like, I'm like throwing a... Throw uh, the rock you, around. You guys want to investigate a little bit or you want to go back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's investigate a little bit. Okay. I just want to see lit all the different places of this. Now here's what I don't understand. Aren't, aren't Minotaur supposed to be like... Nothing in here? Vegetarians or something? I don't know. This one's no, obviously shiny. little... Wait. Vegetable brained. I thought I heard something. Uh, all right, up here, I'm gonna check the sliding wars, walls, doors, stuff like that. Right here? Yeah. No, it's fine. There's nothing going on here. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, yeah, hear me on. Uh, all right, we're going up and we're poking. You're poking. And we're, and You're poking we're the poking. ground in front of you every step of the way. Okay. You're leaving these little tiny divots in the ground. The telltale yeah. <laughs> signs of player characters walking through a dirty area. Little tiny pokes in the ground. I'm gonna check for sliding door walls here. You see and none. Traps. All right, I keep going. And I'm poking the whole way. I wanna know my way out. All right, there you haven't found a single trap yet. You had to have assumed this would happen, right? <laughs> Oh, hey, oh, whoops. I whoops, sorry, I, I forgot to move him. him back to his original location. That was where I was just hiding him for a moment, fifth, like an <laughs> hour and a half ago. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, guys, I didn't see anything, but I think we need to be whoops. careful. Uh, I slowly go up, and I listen <laughs> to the most careful extent. I can't see anyone. Callum, oh, okay, I think, or Vaughn. Sorry. God damn. Yeah. Callum, Vaughn, you need to be in front. Yeah. With your stick. I'm in front with my stick. Um, I have a cure light wounds and a light available, just for a heads up. Okay. And we keep going, and I'm poking. God, I'm the light source is updating. Oh, the oh, light source is, is like in the wall or something. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, and I check it again. What would you have done if oh. I would have charged him? Uh, <laughs> would you, I, it would have been funny. <laughs> poke, 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 poke. Poke, 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 poke. Stop right there. You poke and immediately the ground gives way and there's a sharp snap. And from above, a net falls. 
weighted to the ground. Somehow it didn't fall because this wanted to go. No net then. Fuck did the net go? You say shit. Oh, mm -hmm. I just I hit the wrong button. That's what. Kajink. Props didn't. Uh... The net falls. Oh god, I thought it was gonna uh, fall over us. Holy shit, that's a, that's fortunate. It's a, a big net with weights all around it, and as it hits the ground, you hear a from deep inside. I'm ready to attack. And, well, we're all rolling initiative is what we're doing. Fuck. We're all <laughs> rolling initiatives here. I screamed uh, it out, Neil. I know, but the the roar is the Minotaur running, like charging you, and so you're all rolling initiative to see who gets to who first, to who can react in time. Uh, spear. No. Okay, initiative. Oh my god, can I click on the combat tab? And can I click on nice. that thing? All right. That's nice initiative, guys. Good one. Oh, no. oh, oh, it's okay. Lucky. I'll sit in my spot as I normally do. Hell yeah. Good try. I oh my god, Joker. No, that's all right. I accept I go Holy last every time. Shit. All right, Van, it's your turn. You're the first uh, off. Okay. Um, so I don't see the Minotaur yet, but no, I but hear you him. No, you hear him, right? and he's angry. Okay. Uh, let's see, who's next to me right now? Oh, oh, we are moving. Oh, I see what's uh, going on. You can uh, hold your action. Uh, uh, I'm right going to, yeah, I'm going to, um, I'm going to stand up front, and I'm going to hold my action. Sorry. Hold my action. Hold or ready. ready and attack. Those are or two ready. separate. Ready. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna ready, ready and attack. Got it. Okay. I ready and attack as well. All right. You both ready attacks, Jebediah. I uh, ready an arrow. All right. For when I see the Minotaur. Minotaur comes around the corner, running into view, and uh, I believe you are the first one to attack him. Yeah. Okay. We'll just have I... the ready to attack squad from the order that they were readied. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to swing my sledgehammer. Swing it! As heavily as possible. Oh my god, where's my freaking... Oh, combat. Yeah, that tab. There you go. Uh, attack. Bang. 17 hits nice. the Minotaur. Your nice. sledgehammer cracks him square in the shoulder. Give me some damage rolls right. on there. Uh, ooh, oh, a heavy nine points of damage. His shoulder, like, bends under the weight. You can hear the joint pop out of place as nice. the, the bone also fractures. Uh, unfortunately... Did you take into account the three damage that I gave him? I did. I did, okay. yes. He's Making healed sure. a, one or two of it over time. Um, okay. uh, unfortunately, our dwarf friend is too far to get a ready attack off, right? Because you uh, just got your, your short little weapon. Yeah, probably. But yeah. I have a question. Yeah? Um, I mean, obviously, can I move now or no? Nope. Okay, um, I have another question. Yep. So he ran into the net. How um, how big is the net? Like, how no. wide are, like, the... Uh... It covers about a 10-feet area, but it's just on the ground now, so he's standing over it. How wide are the um, the holes in between the net, I guess, is what I'm Pretty asking. small. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and Jeb, get your bow shot off as the Minotaur comes into view. There's a couple of people in front. The dwarf doesn't count for anything because he's too short. So maybe like a, a minus one. But the Minotaur's one. a large creature. I should easily yeah. be able to shoot Yeah, it's normally a minus two for each row of creature, but the Minotaur is kind of big. So I'll say it's a minus one. Because it's normally a minus two. I mean, okay, fine. You're probably gonna hit him any. Never mind. Wouldn't have mattered one way or the other. The arrow goes Perfect. right over his horn, hits the earth. The Minotaur picks his big heavy axe up, brings it over his shoulder, not quite over his head, and <laughs> right down towards you, Vaughn. Okay. Well, let me see what his bonus to hit is. Uh oh, it's really good. He's got plus seven to hit. Yo. Hey. Natural 13 modified 20 to hit you. I believe the axe sinks yeah. in thump, deeply into your probably your thigh. We'll see how much damage he does. Uh, three and two is five damage. So the axe comes up and hacks into your hip, giving you a, a sturdy, steady limp, and blood starts stro uh, streaming down your leg. Joka. Mm -hmm. I run up and say, now this is how you use an axe. And I swap him with a 14. That hits You, right. a 14 will indeed hit. For nine. Where's my axe yes. attack? Nice. Do I not have an axe? 
Uh. Not that he understands me, but. Yeah. All right, nine more damage to our, not our cannibal, our, uh, our Minotaur. <laughs> Minotaur is down, badly wounded. Uh, Joka, not Joka, uh, Jeb. Jeb, you get your second attack. Still at minus one. Excellent. That's fine. Same roll. <laughs> Same roll. Uh, you know what? It's hard work not shooting your friends. Let's all roll initiative. Did your HP yeah, update, Tom, or did it just am I crazy? Oh, my bad, my bad. No, I'm I'm bad. I'm sorry. It's a bad man. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be rolling to cast light on his vital organs. His Ooh, eyes. perfect. Yeah. There we Said go. five damage before, right? Is that correct? Yes, three First and two. Cut. Okay, cool. Gotcha. So now I'm down uh, to four because I... I was at nine. Cool. It's two eighteens in a row. Good job. Yeah, I was gonna say I forgot to select oh, my initiative. character, but it didn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> Are we waiting on me to roll initiative again? Or? Uh, you and Jim. Oh, wait, no, not Jim. Moon, you rolled a 13 for initiative? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so. All right. We are waiting for Vaughn's initiative here. There you go. Oh, Seven. Well, All right, well, you and Jeb go first. The Minotaur's right. before you, axe in a hand, eyes red. There's a big uh, ring through his nose as he snorts and little bits of snot fly onto your face. Right. Okay, so I'm going to. Take my sledgehammer, sling it over with great pain because I've been hitting my side, and I'm gonna hit, attempt to put all my might behind this one again. With my sledgehammer, Up I and attack. down and all around the sledgehammer goes, Oof. and it hits solidly into this side of the cave. Jebediah. Shit. Excellent. Um. Twenty crit. will crit. The Minotaur, give me double damage on that attack roll. Yeah, boys. Ho oh, ho Not bad. The Minotaur takes the shot square to the chest. It's oozing blood. He wavers on his feet for a moment. One hand kind of like goes to the chest wound before he regains control of his axe with both of his hands. Brings it up and down, but this time he's not aiming for Vaughn. Vaughn didn't hit him. He's aiming for this motherfucker over here. So the axe comes like swinging up and sideways in a diagonal path towards your clavicle, trying to decapitate you. Uh, seven and seven is 14. Is that a yeah, hit? Ah, uh, yes. The axe hits you heavily for eight points of damage. You go out like a light. The blade cuts into your clavicle. You can feel the bone breaking. And then, like, the axe kind of wobbles and the flat of it smashes into your head, which hits you into the wall and you hit the ground. Ebner. What happens if I want to change what I wanted to do originally? You, you go, go later in the end. But if you're casting a spell, you'll burn the spell because spells are special. Guys. All right, he gets uh, a saving throw yep. to avoid it. Uh, natural 20 on the save. The the Minotaur blinks for a moment and kind of moves his eyes, and he, he's fine, he's fine, he's not blinded, but this entire Blight area is yeah. brightly illuminated. Ding! You had two light spells, right? Yep. Perfect. Okay, Joka, you are unconscious, but you're at zero exactly, so you're kind of fine. Yeah, we're, uh, we're yeah. Let's roll initiative. Uh, no, I get my second shot. Oh, get a... Good call. Second shot. Please kill him. Mm-hmm. Would prefer. That's another critical great Critical hit! Hey! You could still not kill him. You could roll two ones. Or I could just roll don't. the same thing again. Yep. Fantastic. You hit him one more time in the throat. The Minotaur stumbles backwards, grasps, drops the axe, manages to pull the arrow out, and then slumps into the ground. I run over to my friend, Joker. 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 And I cast uh, my Cure Light Wounds on him. All right. He pops right back up because he was only at zero. Uh, roll me a d8. I did. Oh, I see. Oh, seven. Seven. Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. He's just as healthy as he was before. Fantastic. And the Minotaur is dead. I'm going to recover the two arrows I hit him with. You can pull him right out of his sternum. I'm going to look, uh, peek by. Hell of a job, Jeb. You see more oh, blood thank pools. thank you. Those first two shots, uh, oof. They're a little rough, All right, we got him. We got him. We got him. What's the Good axe job, made out of? Good job, boys. Hmm? What's the axe made out of? Yeah. Uh, big brass head, long wooden haft. Probably yeah. be worth something. Yeah. 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 Worth 150 copper, axe. just in terms of metal. 
Um, you guys want to grab what's on him and check over here? Yeah, uh, yeah, yes, I think that's a great idea. Well, I can work on him. I, I, that going unconscious thing is just not right. This up and down here. I know tempo subverts the time, but the headache is I'm unreal. poking him. Or I'm poking around still. Okay. Uh, is there anything else on the Minotaur? Like coins or just anything? The axe. Just the axe. And fur and his horns and his nose ring, which is made out of brass as well. Oh, uh, we gotta take some shit from him. Yeah, yes. we gotta we gotta butcher this creature. Minotaur yeah. hooves, probably. Yeah, hooves, we said hooves, the horns. horns. Let's like cut off some of the mane. Let's well, I think we just take that whole head. head. The whole head let's, could whole be useful. Yeah, let's just take the whole head. Cut off his tail, maybe. I'm gonna tail, go in here and hooves. search around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, found it. Mm-hmm. I'm poking everything though. Yeah. We're still poking, by the way. <laughs> sure. Um, let me zoom in because I want to find every cool thing. Oh, there's coins. There are coins. It also looks All like sorts of gems. coins. Oh, no, did you already go coins. into that place? Okay. Oh, wait, what's the blue stuff? They're, it's just oh. coins. Ignore oh. the art assets. Uh, they didn't have gem coins without the gems. Right. It was uh, a problematic problem. Damn, no sapphires. Um. Okay, I'll grab those. Mm -hmm. How much is it? You can pick up 100 golden coins. Damn. 150 silver coins. And 600 copper coins. Okay. And then I want to go over to the wine. There are six bottles of wine remaining. Okay. And then I want to pull up the hay. Uh, there's nothing under the hay. Nothing in the hay? No. Hey. 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 You guys see anything else? It's for horses. I don't see anything. Would you like <laughs> us to make a perception check, Neil? Uh, if sorry. you want to, go for it. I'm sorry. If you want to double search. No, I don't see anything. Yes, you do. There's a gemstone. You know where it is? It's in Ebner's eye. He's got a twinkle. He's hiding gold in his eyes. You're sure hey. of it? Hey. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I almost got you. Uh, search for doors or anything? Anything? Four to six? Find nothing. There ain't nothing here. Nah. I grab the wine, I grab all the gold, I got, or all the, all the coin. Got it all on me. Let's go fuck around with that cube now. Yeah. I su well, I, I suppose so. Or what time is it? Yeah. Uh, it probably hasn't been very long. Okay. It's yeah, you're probably right. It's probably been, been, an hour. It's it's been less than 70 minutes, otherwise the light spell would have worn off. All right, let's run. So do we, uh, we got everything we could off the Minotaur, right? Everybody? Yeah. yeah. You got take the... his head and his hooves and... Who wants to carry that shit? His tail? Yeah, what, uh... You take his tail? On? I could probably carry... I can carry... Woo -doo 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 -doo, 50 pounds more things before I reach light encumbrance, so... Sure, the Minotaur's head probably weighs 40 pounds or so, 30 pounds. It's a big, big heavy thing. Okay. Uh, I will take the head. I could take that. Okay. I'm going to take this net, too. Mino head. Well, nah, I'm not going to take that. Fuck yeah. that. Um, I'll you got the head. I'll cut the yeah. hooves and the tail off, then. Okay, cool. All right, All so right. now I'm at So what would you say for that? Like, two pounds, Neil? For the, the hooves? Hooves and tail. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sure. Do uh, we want to go fuck with the cube today, or do we want to come back? I would feel a little bit safer if we uh, got a little bit of respite, came back and uh, came back and saw what the hell was going on over there. Because I don't want to leave that. I, I'm genuinely curious to know what's. I, what's I am going too. On I, there. How about what we do? So I go over there, I shoot it once. Maybe right. I wasn't throwing the rocks hard enough. Uh, See what an arrow can I, do. Can, can we, we do run over the cube, Neil? Can you just? Sure. Uh, each foot it. is actually five pounds. I'm sorry. Each hoof is five pounds? Each foot is five pounds, yeah. So and the head is 26 pounds. Uh, if that's going to be the case, then I'll just take the tail and say, Hey, Joker, do you mind carrying these hooves? I'm already lightly encumbered. And yeah, I can Mr. Edna already, he's, you know, he's got shorter legs than all of us, but... For sure. How many hooves am I adding over here? Two at five pounds each. At five? But I'll just say the tail is two pounds. How about that, Neil? Sure. And the weight or the value is M for Minotaur. Okay. All right. 
Cool. Added. All right. So the party will fast travel. Hold on. Yeah. Wait. Stay in the square so I can fast travel you. Why did that not work? Enterprise fall to beam up. <laughs> All right, there you go. You have beamed away. Shoot that thing. So, yep, go over here. I'll take out an arrow. Mm hmm. Let her rip, tater chip. Let her rip. That's what's happening. Would you like me to roll? I would love you to make me an attack roll against the air. Yeah, 20. Your arrow sure does strike true. Why don't you roll me a bunch of d6s for funsies? A bunch of d6s? Even a bunch of d6s one. for funsies. Like three of them. Nine. All right. Uh, your arrow strikes this thing, this like spot in the air and the whole air begins to jiggle and wobble and then moves and you can see coming oh, into boys. being a gelatinous oh, cube. Shit. Shoot it again. <laughs> Initiative round. Fight. Do I get another attack because it's a bow? That's always the curious thing. So you get two attacks per round with a bow, but then your first attack is what triggers the roll for initiative. So then you're drawing your arrow. I'm never sure how to rule it. I think it's, you're not firing two shots at the same time. So we roll initiative at the start of, after the first arrow hits. I think that's the right way to rule. I'm sorry. And to okay. me, if he wanted to like sling two bow or two uh, arrows to the bow and like shoot it, could he actually do that? Well, Maybe be, I'd probably penalties? impose some like wicked yeah, penalties. I, I don't think that'd be worth. I don't think you'd. I could just give two sick, arrows. Dude. It would be sick. Die, just... I will give you that. It would be. Sick. Think about it one day if we're about to die and we're on our last. Yeah. Lines. <laughs> if we're on our last three lines and go for it. I saw it because then it's the it's already right there. If you gotta like point blank somebody. The yeah. half court shot for half a million dollars. Yeah. I, I think the issue is that when you notch two arrows, both of your your high arrow is going to go up and your low arrow is going to go low because the bowstring kind of forms like a, a V. And so then your your top arrow isn't going to be exactly flush with the the string. Like the string is going to be at a weird angle to it. So it's going to push it in a weird way. It would have to be like very close, I would assume. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I got to go talk to someone who's into archery. Figure this shit out. Uh, okay. Looks like the entire party goes before the cube. It slowly jiggles to life, and you can see as it moves towards you, the uh, little bits of rubble on the ground kind of rotate through it. Now there's like a skeleton floating through it in addition to the coins. But Vaughn, buddy, you are first. Okay, and we're on, uh, we're on like a grade here, right? We're on like a, a ten cliff? foot ledge, and the gelatinous cube is about ten feet tall, so it actually comes to about foot level. Oh wow. Um, but he. I don't think we'd be able not to reach it. Quite close enough to us right now. Yeah. No, yeah. Right. Like, yeah. It's not that. So yeah. yeah, I guess I uh, I look in absolute disgust at what the fuck that thing is. It's uh, just a cube of like yeah. translucent jelly. Yeah. Perfect. Um, and I suppose. Uh, ready, ready. Uh, can I ready in action right yeah. now and for, yeah, for totally. next? Time? Okay, that's what I'll do. All right, yeah. you ready in attack for when it comes into range? Yeah. Yep. Ebna, I go over here. Ready in attack for when it comes into range. Um, Joker. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Guys, yeah. don't stand in my way. I can't shoot it again. Um. Uh, yeah, well, if you're like, right in this spot, you're not going to be able to hit it if it comes into... There's no range. I don't range. know how, like, weirdly, like, I don't... Can I yeah, stand? Yeah, well, there? I think there's a problem. You can't all fit on the ledge. It's well, just well, too narrow I of a space. I stand over here. Yeah. Does he go before me, or do I go before him? Uh, Edna would... went before you. We go yeah. at the same time? 12-12? Oh, yeah, 12-12. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so cool. As he does that, I drop down on the ledge over here, and I ready an attack down here. All right, so you hop down onto the ground while he I heads to the ledge. I lower myself down, so I do sure, not sure, fall sure. down feet. Right, right, right. You, you to slip and slide. No problem. Gotcha. You're All good, right? right. Jeb. Um, can Jeb I get die. a shot off on it? Uh, yeah, definitely. Cool. Eight, I actually think hits the cube. They've got really <laughs> shitty AC. Yes. Uh, no. Let me look. Hold on. 
character yes. sheet. No, no 12 AC. Yeah. Okay, not 8 AC. 12 AC. The, the arrow kind of hits the cube and then just sits there, ineffective, doing nothing. Excellent. All right. The gelatinous cube. Um, so get... nearly transparent that they're difficult to see. These cubes travel down but dungeon remember, corridors. It's covered in dirt. Absorbing carry on and trash along the way. Their sides glisten, tending to leave a slimy trail. But gelatinous cubes cannot climb walls nor cling to ceilings. You don't need to know about that. You don't need to know about that. All right, a gelatinous cube attacks its victim Jet by touching its victim with an anesthetizing slime. So it reaches out to you, uh, Joka, from about where it is right now. It kind of like slimes over here and uh, tries to reach you. You get your attack as it reaches out to touch you. Kill it. 11, 11 is not gonna do it. You like oh, clip man. the jelly, oh. sending a little piece of it floating off and it splatters on the ground over there. I just want to double check to see if it's range because they have such a suffer paralysis. Perfect. All right, so it just reaches out to touch you with this like weird pseudopod that reaches out of it. Does Vaughn get an attack too? Uh, I mean, he's sort of out of range of Vaughn. He's kind of in Vaughn range she? of Vaughn. Right there? Uh, the, the, uh, yeah, go ahead, make your attack roll, Vaughn. It's fine. He's okay. on ground level. He's at the max range that you could possibly swing your hammer. Okay, so it's it's on like the end of the arc, and I'm I'm, mm -hmm. I'm don't roll a one. My hand is all the way on the end of the the hilt. Okay. Um, please roll a one and fail a dex check so you fall into him. Yeah, please. <laughs> no, no. All right. <laughs> the hammer doesn't quite reach him. It swings past and thuds into the ground. The gelatinous cube reaches out with a fourteen to hit you, Joka. For touch or for touch. Total. Yeah, that's sure hit. Sure hit. Okay. The anesthetizing slime like reaches your skin and you just start to feel this numbness come over. I need you to make me a saving throw versus petrification? Paralyzation. Paralyzation, poison, and death magic. Nah. You feel Oof. yourself slow and then kind of spasm for a moment and then you just like flop to the ground, completely motionless, unable to do anything whatsoever. And then... Uh, so you're, you're paralyzed for 5d4 minutes. So that'll average oh, okay. 5, 10. That'll average 12 and a half minutes. Uh, oh, I've been here before. Hold on. I know how this works. I'll just oh, go fine. ahead and tab on out. The slime then begins to ooze over you, surrounding you with its body. And those the rest of you can see him kind of being like uptaken into the slime and little bits of them begin to dissolve away. If, he, if the I, slime's if turn rolls around again, then the slime will automatically deal uh, 2d4 damage to him every round he is within the slime. Do I get my attack now? Ooh. What weapon do you have? A spear. Yeah, you can reach him with a spear. That's fine. I'm gonna save yeah. you, buddy. Thank God you have a spear, not like a hammer or a mace. No, you can't do it. You can barely reach your dwarven legs and arms are just too short to really reach him without risking tumbling down the hill. Uh, the slime has picked up Joka in its body second and attack. slowly slimes away on his turn. You will get your second attack. The slime doesn't move very quickly, but it doesn't need to move quickly. It has its prey in it. And it just like moves away from the ledge and slowly back to the end of the room. 15? Jeb hits it with an arrow. Oh, five points of damage. Almost kills the slime, but not quite. There's a, a looseness to it. It looks like a, a warm jello mold that's kind of like falling apart. Uh, did you count for the rocks thrown earlier at it? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> Dirt. Does it feel bad about itself that it's dirty now? No. Uh, I don't know. Let's roll initiative, everybody. Except for Joka, who is in the gelatinous cube, slowly being dissolved. Fuck yeah. Forget you, cube. Roll slow. Yeah, he oh. like, rolls terribly. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's I like rock in there. Um, All right, question Vaughn. for clarity's sake. I mean, we don't have to do it now. But like, if it moves out of attack range, do we? Are we able to attack it or no? 
If it leaves your threatening square, it does sort of provoke an attack of opportunity, but it was already sort of in this weird area where like it wasn't adjacent to you, it was a little bit out of your range. So yeah, I it was like sure. very max. So yeah. the way I'd say is it was so far away that their both of their attempted attacks missed. Yeah. So that's fine. Right, so it was out of the range, so it couldn't provoke the yeah, OAs. Yeah. Perfect. Good, okay. the good thinking, Connor. You're a smart man. So where I'm at right now, um, I can't. Can can anybody see that thing? I can't see exactly where it looks like it's retreated beyond the line of sight. Throw the rock down there. Well, it's your turn, yeah, Vaughn. What are you gonna throw, do? Let's throw, the, let's throw the rock. I'm All throwing right. the rock, but is that gonna take my entire action? Nah, you can just kick it with your foot. That'll be fine. Okay. Uh, what is the distance between here and here? 30 35 two. feet? 32 feet? Yeah. So, okay. Um, so if I... Can I cover that distance with a charge? If yeah, I, you, like, can, you can yeah. slide down the hill and go after it. No problem. Yeah. Full, full tilt. I'm going full tilt. Charge All right. down. You charge. Yeah. Plus two on your attack roll, minus one on your AC for the rest of the round. All right, here we go. Sledgehammer. Swing! Sledgehammer yeah. the slime. You hit it. You hit it with your sledgehammer. Let me double check to make sure it doesn't have an immunity Whoa. to bludgeoning damage. I don't think it does, but it is a slime, and sometimes they're immune to bludgeoning damage. Let's see. Electricity, fear, hold, paralyzation, polymorph, and sleep-based attacks have no effect on this monster, but fire and blows from weapons have normal effects. All right, you <laughs> hit it. Okay, damage? Uh, 12 damage. You hit the slime so hard with your head sledgehammer that it just splatters against the wall. You Gallagher the slime nice. into nice. Bit bits, and and poor Joka just kind of like flops and lands in the pile of goo, and it's still like singeing his skin and burning at him, and you can see small scars appearing on his face. All right. As people so... laugh maniacally in the background at his misfortune. <laughs> Uh, I go and timed. pick up all the golden and silver. All right, you guys. I lay can... paralyzed on the ground for my number of minutes. <laughs> four, uh, five D, five D four round. Nine minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. You guys can manage to, to pick up the gems down here, the uh, gold down here. It's another ten gold, thirty silver, sixty-five copper. Thank you. Brilliant. A copper Excellent. and 30 silver. Um, 30 silver. I got, my, I got it on mine. You got it? Oh, okay, cool. I already, I've just been keeping track of all the gold and silver. Oh, okay. do you want to take it then? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can take it. Yeah, here. I'll take it off my sheet. Okay, now I can. Cool. Uh, all right. Who did one of you, not both of you, record the Minotaur money? I yes, had it, but he had it. Okay, good. I recorded all of the money we have. Okay, perfect. Have perfect. Cool. All right. Well, the gelatinous cube has been slain. The the Minotaur's waste disposal system has been taken care of for the people in chat who are wondering where the Minotaur poops. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Uh, what is this? Is this, is this just a rock? Yeah, it's just a rock. Okay. There's nothing going on over there. Yeah. Uh, all nothing right. You guys can easily. Going on down here either. Nah. That's it. That's cool. it. Nice. You guys have uh, cleared the Minotaur's maze, and you can woo! exit the cave nice. back into the bogs and swamps of Pittsburgh yeah, and surrounding it? area. It has been Four days? a few days. You'll probably... Uh, I'll just tell you, players, your characters probably have to like wait until the next day, until you get back to town to figure it out. But it is the 23rd of February. Yeah, I knew we were almost out of time. Um, did we make enough off this trip? Did we made enough off of this trip for the next couple months? Hell yeah, brother! Hell <laughs> yeah, brother! Uh, Maybe for these next few months we can focus on getting our families and everybody else out of that shithole latrine. Yes, indeed. I think the first part of that is we need to check on Thornwood. Okay. Let's, if there's uh, people there, what we can do is we. Do your original plan with Stromheim, but doing Thornwood, exchange all our gold for silver, and we were set for the rest of the year almost. All right, let's uh, mosey on back home, doggy. Okay. Smells like progress, fellas. 
Smells like progress. Gentlemen, that was a that was a good haul. That was a very good haul. Other than the being run over by a boulder, being paralyzed by a slime, being knocked out by a minotaur. Yeah, it was fine. It was fine. <laughs> you had a really hard time this this uh, yeah, traumatized. session, didn't you? Uh, you know what, Joker, Joker did not have a good time in the minotaur's no. cave. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You know what? We couldn't have done it without you, though. That's true. Someone That's had true. to take the hits. <laughs> well, you did get a mighty fine blow off of on that uh, minotaur in there, so. It is true. I showed him how to use the axe. I should have showed you him did. one turn later. Eh. Well, you showed him too well, I think, because then he got you right back. Yeah, uh -huh. I should have showed him kind of the sort of good way to do it, and then I should have showed him the real good way to do it at the mm -hmm. end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before we leave, um... Was the gelatinous cube stuff still singeing into the wall at all? Uh, no, it's got like these weird digestive acids that it keeps producing. And as you okay. like splattered it, there was some like digestive fluids around, but without any more being it, creative, uh, it, uh, uh, being creative, they just like dissipate quickly. Yeah. All right. Well, here you are in Bogwood near the Meyer Hollow near Pittsburgh. Take us home to Tassel. Back to Tassel? Okay. Now that I've Please. corrected the distances on the map, it's 50 miles. It'll take you three days to get there. Take me home, little Aerodon Road. One, two, three days of no encounters as you journey on back to Tassel. Arriving. Did we see Fism? Fism? You do Fism. see Fism as you arrive in Tassel one more time. Sir Fism. Mr. Fism, have we got something for you? The hall for you, son. Or friend. Okay. Uh, but he comes over Minotaur to inspect tail. your hall. Yep. The Minotaur hooves and the Minotaur mm. head. Oh, and head. tail? Are we giving him tail? Yeah. And hide, I think we put some Did hide, you? I didn't you happen to hide. bring me his testicles, did you? No, but they're probably still sitting on him down in his cave. Mm, they make for a great soup. Mm, oh, unfortunately, we did not think to grab the bull's balls. Ah, uh, well, that's okay. Next time you find one, make a soup out of his testicles. It just if it's a good. him. Oh, What's it's delicious. This? What's all this worth in, uh... To you, Mr. Fism. Hmm. He takes a look at the stuff, kind of turns it over, gives it a good sniff here and there. Hmm. Hmm. And he will give you a handful of dice. Just gonna roll a bunch of dice and figure out what these suckers are worth to him. <laughs> he actually uh, handed over a handful yeah. of dice. <laughs> 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 well, I didn't know you were in a game, Mr. Fism. Also, Fizzib, I'm curious to what, uh, would you mind telling me what each piece would be for, or which pieces are valuable and what you use them for, etc. Just so I can record it in my log. All right. First, let me add up these numbers, and then I will narrate. <laughs> Thank you. These arbitrary numbers that I have just decided. Well, while Mr. Fizzib here is kind of going over this stuff, you, you mentioned at the start of the Minotaur Cave about riding back home. After that little adventure there through the caves, Maybe maybe I should learn to write, Mr. Ebner. Would you mind showing me in the dirt and teaching me in the evenings? Could you help me out with that? Which language you want to write? Well, I, I only know the one, so I'd, I'd hope the one to write home. This one that we're speaking? <laughs> nope, there's one that we're speaking. Uh, yeah, I think I could teach you. It might take a while. I don't know how long, but we can do it at night and go over stuff when we're not adventuring. Uh, yeah. As long as maybe you teach me on some tracking. I, I don't know much about tracking. I've got the tracking. What can you teach me? Uh, I could teach you something. Let me pull up my skills. Fire? Well, speaking, I could teach you how to build a fire. I could also teach you a little bit about gaming if you need to know how to, to play some games with people. You know how to swim? Uh, that is something I will be working on myself shortly. All right, I'll learn how to build a fire then when I teach you to read. All right, that'll work. I'll Fizzle. show you as we make fires. Oh, sorry, Fizzle will offer you 220 copper for your returned goods. Excellent job. 220 copper is probably what this is all worth. What was useful for you? 
very little. The the eyes and the tongue might have some uses down the line, uh, but they would have to be research. I'm thinking the eyes or the tongue may be useful in a, a maze spell or a confuse spell, but uh, that remains to be seen. What the, would you given us for the bull testicles? I would have shared the soup with you. Ooh, that sounds good. Yes. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's... That's what those are worth. Uh, the horns are pretty, or you can turn them into something for drinking out of. They're not particularly useful when it comes to magic, but uh, it's nice to have on hand. And the tail might make some good soup too. Uh, we'll have to try it and find out. I'll show him the, you seem like you're into the finer things then. What about these, are you interested? And I'll take out the uh, bottles of wine. Uh, he looks at them and goes, uh, if you're willing to share them with me, I'll have them, but I have no need to purchase wine at this point. I'll share one with you if you want tonight. Maybe we can cozy around a fire and hang out. I would like that. Thank you. Well done. Uh, and he will eat with you guys and drink with you guys, and you can chat amongst <laughs> yourselves while I total up some XP for you all. Yep. Um, um. After we're done speaking with Fizib initially, I assume we like get settled down, just like mm -hmm. wine and dine with them later. Uh, go back to Mr. Garrett mm -hmm. um, and deposit all of our uh, findings. Excellent. Mr. Garrett, I would like you to ship this, these 500 silver coins off to Latrine right away. Absolutely. You guys have done well for yourselves. Where'd you find all that? We killed the Minotaur. Good. Good for you. It was difficult, but we managed to work our way through. There's also a cube of jelly in his cave. Ugh. Killed that too. Good. It Good. was mighty disturbing. Okay. Now, earlier you said, I uh, remember when we first met, you said something about Pittsburgh and having iron. Mm-hmm. Were there mines down there? The bogs. Uh, there, there is iron in the ground. Most people find the nuggets in and around bogs, or uh, mm -hmm. there, there might be a few mines scattered throughout the area, small ones, but they're there. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I appreciate the time and the information. Um... Uh... Uh, before oh, we yeah. get out of here, Jeb, uh, I need to get a couple things from him as well from the yeah. store. Do you mind if I just send you a list and we can do the yeah, map yeah. on that? Send him. Just send me. A, just send Neil a list. Neil, send me the price, and I'll subtract it from our stowed. Um. Yeah, we should do like a big party list. I think so. Yep. Yeah. We can. And, can we deal with that in between? Now yeah, we can deal time? with that yeah. between sessions. Yeah. So everybody gets to take home from today's session. Uh, we did, did the cube, we did the minotaur. Oh, I forgot the minotaur's traps. You had all sorts of deadly traps in there. Um, you encountered, let's see, you ran into that one twice. <laughs> that was good. Um, and you did the, the, the boulder, which was good. And let's see, you discovered a couple other traps along the way. We did not pull the lever. We did not pull the lever, I'm so disappointed. Um, was that going to be a rock fall if everyone dies? I mean, we'll never know now. Now that the lever's never been pulled. Dies. Right, fall, yeah, rock fall, everyone dies. Divided between four people, everyone takes home 962 experience points. Damn. Tally it. Wait, that doubles what I've had. Oh, shit. Nine, well, that's quite good. 962? 962. What's the threshold for level two? 2,000. 2,000. For a fighter. Woo! Yeah. Anyone level? That's two. Yeah, I guess. Oh yeah. Uh, it's fifteen hundred for a cleric, though. Fuck yeah, then I love them. And then two two five zero for a ranger, and I'm at two four six zero. I was gonna say you're so close. Uh, what else did we get? I don't know if we fought anything else. Oh, Vaughn gets ten percent more XP. Yes, yeah. oh, Vaughn does get an additional ten percent. Good Shit. call. So, so what was it uh, originally? Eight six five. Uh, nine six two. Nine, six, two? Nine six, nine, nine, oh, six nine, two six. times one point one. You should get ten fifty eight. Oh baby, ten fifty. Only I had 
Oof. What are you at, Four, Connor? I am at 2460. So I level Oh, up. so you level. Yeah. Yeah. I said okay. I'm at 2460. I need 2250. Okay, perfect. So uh, everybody levels, then, is what I'm hearing. Yes. Mm-hmm. All righty. Welcome to level two, everybody. Level two. Welcome boys. to level two. The HP, please. So Those. let's take our turns. Roll for hit points and cross our fingers and pray that we roll well. Uh, what am I rolling? Uh, I say we do go you want to go first? Solo, so Vaughn, t- oh, Tom, you go first. Sure. Uh, how do I roll this? You roll are going to roll a 1d10 and you are going to add What's your, your con? con mod of 4. So 1d10 plus 4. Okay, we'll roll 1d10 plus 4. Uh, oh, without the period. Oh, hey. What, so what close. Oops. Right. There you go. Uh, Damn. What'd you That's... get? Eight. Not eight. bad. All right. Your max Not HP bad. goes up by eight. I, I say damn, but it's only because they're before. It like doubles your existing hit points That's practically. That's literally higher than what <laughs> I, I know, could have. I know. I know. I don't know why I said damn. All right. So Beautiful. you should be at 17 out of 17. Yes, sir. Perfect. Bad. Uh, you go up in level, so you get a bonus, a bonus of one to hit for all things. Okay. Um, and I think that's all you get as a fighter at level yeah. two. Yep. Okay. okay. Next highest HP, Callum. Not Callum, Joka. God yeah. damn it. One day, man. One day. Sorry. Ten. Let's Holy go. Holy shit. Nice. 18 hit points. Nice. You've been rolling tens all night, so that's good. Yeah, I was about um, to say. <laughs> yeah. And if you were one off before, we'll have you be two off now, so you'll be at 16 out of 18. Oh, okay. Perfect, and you get another plus one well, to hit, which I've added to I you. I was going to go to full because we didn't have any encounters over oh, the that's right. Yeah, we had no encounters. Perfect, perfect. But I guess we were moving, we were walking. Does that count? I mean, that's fine. Know. You're at full. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Ebner. You Whatever. are a cleric, so you're going to roll a D8 plus eight your con plus mod four. of two, so D8 plus two. I have a two con mod with 16. Yep, you're right. Okay. Yep. <sighs> oh my god, nice. these high rolls! 15 Your HP. HP more than doubles as well. 15 Thank out god. of 15 for you, buddy. You don't get a bonus to hit for this level, but you do get um, an additional Another first second. level spell that you get to uh, yeah. memorize. So you have four spells now? Yes. Uh, and excellent. last but not least, we got Jebediah, who's going to roll a flat d10. Here we go, boys. No Nine HP. On. Four. All righty. You get a total of nine, which is great. You get an additional one to all of your attacks. Yep. Wonderful. That's what's really important. Yep. And uh, your ranger abilities get ever so slightly better. Yeah. Uh, your hide than... and shadows and move hide silently in. each go up a little bit. Yep. yep. Perfect. Oh. Hide and shadows by five. Move silently by six well, congratulations to our players for surviving today's session getting a shit ton of gold and hitting level two and now with your huge hp pools and i do mean huge like an average second level fighter should have like 11 to 13 hp so you guys are all doing really good here uh you'll be fine <laughs> you'll be fine maybe i have literally half the hp of joka and <laughs> vaughn yeah. Yes. Big con, man. Big That's con. okay. Uh-huh. You are in the back with the yeah. bow. You you don't need yeah. to be up in the front. I still have the highest AC though. Yeah. With the right. shield out, I have 18 AC. That's really good. So also, that's another reason you don't need HP, is you have AC. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you don't need HP if, I, if you if have. If I was AC. in melee, the Minotaur would have to roll only an 11 to hit me. Well, thank God the Minotaur is dead. Or, yeah, unmodified one. Yeah. yeah. Until we All find right. the next thing. Well, this has been Desperate Measures. We will be back, I do believe, next week on our regularly scheduled Sunday time slot. Yep. If all yep, goes according yeah. to plan, which we'll figure out in the rest of the week. You guys yep. will get me a buying list and uh, we'll take care of the cash. And how much money did you give him to pay for the next month? Uh, How many months uh, are you paid, paying for? This should have been we paid now. for 1,000 for, or correction, 100 for the month of February. Okay, so you needed 100 a month, right? Correct. Yep. Okay, so February is paid for. 
Excellent. And didn't you say he takes, uh, he skims some off the top? Does he take that in silver? Uh, he'll take it in whatever form. It's just gonna okay. be like, you pay him 100. I think you Copper. probably owe like 90 or whatever, and he'll take the extra or something like that. Um, us paying okay, him off him and paying for the town is a hundred. Yeah, yeah, you pay him for a hundred, he passes on to the Got town it. whatever the town needs and takes care of the rest. Okay. Got it. Uh, and then you've got the remainder of the cash stored on your sheet somewhere. And mm -hmm. be like treasure part in your hoard funds, yeah. right? Great. Okay. Uh, let's do some shout outs and head out for the evening, starting with Ebner. Uh, you can find me on Twitch.tv slash Mr. Mitten. And Jebediah. You can find me at work. Excellent. And Vaughn. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Azure Wind. That's uh, my, I don't know if my username is on here anywhere, but A Z U R E W I N D. I play Long War 2. Uh, Learning Man Legendary. It used to be Iron Man, but we can't really start over at Gatekeeper every time I screw up now, so we've checkpointed after the <laughs> HP. Song. And yeah, uh, so that's what I like to do. So uh, Tuesdays through Saturdays. Uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. Twitch.tv forward slash Azure Wind. That's that's me. Oh, and uh, shout out to uh, Lucalia for doing my emotes. She's fantastic. She's a great artist, by the way. Nice. Thank you, Lucalia. And last but not least, Joka. Uh, um, you can find me on Twitch TV slash Will Kills. Um, we're streaming basically every evening these days. We're going. We're playing every game in my Steam library right now. We're on Tomb Raider: uh, A Rise of the Tomb Raider. We're on game number three. So got 159 to go. Jesus. Yeah, it's going to be a long haul. All right. I am Koi Boop. You can find me on my shit all over the place, and I run D&D campaigns for other people. You'll find them around. Fridays, we do critical feedback. If you're ever interested in getting some feedback on your campaigns that you run or play in, come on by. It's the time where you can ask a professional DM all your questions. I don't have good answers, but you can ask your questions anyway. And we'll be back next week. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>